Hey, welcome to the Movie Crypt. Today we're discussing Blades, the 1989 movie about middle class white people who really, really love golf. And the sentient lawnmower that's trying to kill them. This is a film about people who don't help other people when they're being attacked. and who don't get up and run when the killer lawnmower is coming right for them. The innuendo never stops. I think I like your shaft better. Oh, this does have a graphite shaft, and in my opinion, it will give you a better stroke. I bet it will. Okay, lady, we get it. And half the kills happen off screen because they burn through the effects budget on explosion. You definitely need those in a lawnmower movie. The Blades does have this mark of quality that makes it a must watch. This, I gotta see. Blades is the story of Kelly Lang, a golf pro at the Tallgrass Country Club, who is immediately demoted when her boss hires washed up golfer Roy Kent to take her job. And this here is Kelly Lang, your assistant pro. But it's fine. Kelly's totally fine with it. Totally fine. Morning, Kelly. The club is hosting a tournament, and we know this because they talk about it all the time. In fact, I think you're almost ready to play in this weekend's Invitational, sir. There is still time to sign up for this weekend's golf tournament. But you can't possibly host a tournament when there's a killer lawnmower on the loose, right? So what happens now? About one. Okay, apparently you can. Meanwhile, the bodies are stacking up. And the main characters both overreact. Anyway, sir. And underreact to the news. Naturally, Tallgrass does what any club would do when a bunch of people have been murdered mysteriously on the grounds. They would keep giving golf lessons. You're who signed up? Everyone but Mr. Simpkins. Oh, yes, of course. Shall we uh, have a moment of silence? Hell no, start the lesson. Yeah. And sending little kids out into the brush to go get the balls. And watch the club go through the ball. It's fine. It's totally fine. You always hook it. Same goes for bent arms on the release. That's fine. It's totally fine. Keep your head still and watch the club. I mean, the kid will be fine. There's all those adults standing around and no one is just going to let some little kid get like chopped up and killed right in front of them, are they? <laughs> Okay. Okay, they are. They're just going to let him get killed. They're not going to help him. Well, at least the caddy's death spurred people to actually do something about the killer that's on the loose. Like, you know, form a well-armed mob of drunk golfers. <laughs> Mobs always end well. And this one ends with the capture of Deke, a disgruntled former caretaker of the golf course. We found him hunched over it. He was probably trying to start it. To use it to kill us! They've got an innocent mower on the back of a tow truck. Actually, they take Deke to jail and accuse him of murder. And he gives the detectives an absolute zinger of a statement. I see machines do some pretty strange things. Man builds them, repairs them, maintains them, depends on them, but they ain't perfect. Now, we've all had a machine do something it wasn't supposed to do. An electric razor with a safety guard on it that still cuts you and draws blood. A big jet plane passes inspection fine, but its engines drop off just as it's climbing into the sky. It happens all the time. 
big waves and small. We've all been there, Deke. We've all been there. Okay, so we've got our happy ending, right? The killer is in jail and the tournament can continue without any more bodies or any more blood, right? Right? Anyone? Right? No. No. It can't. Because of course they've got the wrong guy. Of course they've got the wrong guy. Deke is not a killer mower and this thing is called Blades. <laughs> Okay, so what do we learn from this death? We learn that if you are attacked by a killer lawnmower on television in front of everybody, no one will help you. Come on, guys. Y'all couldn't, like, grab his arms? Like, nobody could grab his arms and pull him out of there or stick a golf club in the, in the mower blade so that they'd stop turning? Like, nobody? Like, no one? Really? Well, at least they pick up the kid. As soon as he fell down, I thought he was a goner. Okay, so after that, they have no choice but to let Deke out of jail because clearly he is not the murderer. Deke does what any reasonable man would do. He teams up with two golf pros, arms them to the teeth. Look, these are all loaded, so don't go acting like they're a bunch of golf clubs and making any holes in one. And spends the night with them in a van in the middle of a golf course? Morning comes, and they try to trap the mower, they try to kill the mower, and fail spectacularly. <laughs> Kelly almost dies while she's changing a tire that's not flat. And then the mower comes for Deke. <laughs> and seriously, none of y'all could, like, grab his arms and pull? Like, nobody? You got that tire iron in your hands, you could stick it in the blades and you don't do it. Roy and Kelly are not the people that I want trying to save me from a killer mower. Now it's time for our hero Roy to act like a hero and save the day with golf. I mean, this was where the whole movie was going, right? Like, all that golf talk had to be for something. Like, right? I'll never forget that eagle you made on the 13th. I guess I woke up one morning and realized my whole life was dropping little white balls in little green holes. I just wasn't prepared to start missing. So, so much golf. Kelly just sits there while he puts a ball on a tee when there's a killer lawnmower coming right for him. <laughs> Holy crap, he actually pulls it off. Who saw that coming? He saved the day with golf. And then they live happily ever after. All right, ghouls, that's it for today. I will see you next time in the movie crypt. 